try not to be biased here. I have a problem with that sometimes. Uh, so, Daniel from Baltimore, Marvels from Florida. Um, both of these players pretty good at this matchup from either side. Yeah. Um, you kind of expect it after uh, we've all seen Wario vs. Boom Fan. I right. think uh, on both sides, both. Uh, People know Both this matchup. Characters match. got a lot of a lot of good ideas in the matchups, and that was something that Daniel and I were we were talking about. Yeah. Uh, the ledge hop, right? Marbles, as soon as he snaps the ledge, he'll hop up, and Daniel is ready yep. with the back air. And get Marbles, stuck on that. He he likes to always move. I feel like. Yeah. You know, so he most most really Pikachu players do. When you are first learning like different angles and recoveries. You're, you know, you think, oh, if I can get off the ledge really quickly, that's good. Kind of like ledge cancels, right? If you can get the ledge cancel and get off it quick. That's yeah. really good. But then you start to realize that it's very easy to read. Yeah. So you have to be patient and you know, mix it up. Um, yeah, because maybe being slow uh, just one of the times. Right. Uh, I like the idea there, just to frame off, though. Or even opting for a different option off the ledge. You yeah. know, Falcon's back air has really good coverage against Pika's ledge hop in general. Ooh, nice patience on that edge guard, though. Uh, he had the read, didn't it? Didn't want to come in too strong and just snaps the ledge whenever he needs to. So, Marbles gets a lot of practice against Lodo, and Daniel gets a lot of practice against myself. So, uh, we'll see how easily they're able to pick up on like different hats. You know, obviously, this matchup is very punishing uh, as soon as someone gets a neutral win. So, if somebody's able to catch someone off guard just once, that's a, that's a stop. Yeah, that can be a whole game, too. Again with the ledge yep. hop. So um, yeah, it looks like he's a uh, Daniel's taking your advice very well. Um, but after risky, he thought of that himself. Pay for it. <laughs> um, yeah, there's an edge guard with the up tilt. I don't. And he almost had him again. And it looks like Marbles is taking his time now. So uh, uh, nice mix up by him instead of just uh, hopping up from the ledge. Yeah, good job baiting Marbles into that. Marbles is a pretty aggressive player. Oh wow, great option. Yeah, much better edge guard there. It's a bit risky, but yeah. Um, it's usually good to get a hit confirmed before. Right. Oh, great fast fall from Daniel. Can he finish the combo? Oh wow, that should be. And Mar no, Marvel's still in it. Wow, yeah. Edge guard scenario though. Marvel's uh, again jumping right off the ledge, but Daniel's not ready for it. I like that though. Um, Despite what we're talking about, the, yeah. the ledge hopping, if you can't get that read on the ledge hop, Falcon has a much better chance in the neutral against Pika. Ooh. Wow. Good job from Daniel, JV3. Yeah. So, so Falcon, I feel like, would almost rather let Pikachu on the stage yeah. and try and contest that up air poking through the, the disjoint, poking through the corner of the ledge. Um, Falcon, again, he has a lot of options in the neutral against Pika. Mm -hmm. um, very, very strong up smash, good grab, yep. back air. He can even poke out a forward air. Really, there's just so many things that he can do. There's a lot of things Pika can do to counter that. Yeah. But if Pika's on the ledge, there's not a lot Falcon can do. You just let him back on stage and fight. A lot of times Pika will think, oh, this is good. You know, yeah. Back on stage. But it's not necessarily the, you know, the best case for him. Yeah, and you really don't want to overextend yourself in a scenario that's putting you in a much more punishing, punishing situation if you miss. And Daniel going for the double standard. Yeah. <laughs> forward air on stage into the forward air up air off stage. And that's... Okay, yeah, I was going to say... Oh. oh, and Daniel gets the grab again! And oh, and Marvel's wow. SDs, you don't want to see that. And that's about the best uh, situation Daniel could have asked for <laughs> yeah. after that. You, if you get that grab, uh, you both sides have that momentary, like, oh no from Falcon, or, yeah. or oh yes from Falcon, or oh no from Pikachu. But then you just back air him, right? Yeah. And Marvel's opted for the up air and missed. And, and he paid for it. Yeah, he paid for it dearly, but... You know, clean up that stock pretty well. Uh, the reverse up tilt. Uh, up smash would have been good there. That's probably what he tried to input, but uh, sometimes we do see some input errors. So and just like that, um, that's this matchup in a nutshell, though. You know? Yeah. Such a great Double approach standard. from Daniel. No, no. I like that option. Yeah. He is risky, but he banked on marbles, you know, holding his ground, and he just caught him with the fair. 
So uh, that up B, um, if uh, hers aren't conditioned to dash away uh, after they miss something, then the up B probably would have worked. But it was nice by Marbles just to dash away right after he missed an aerial. So Marbles, very good adjustment there. He faded away and then did an up air at the ledge hop. So Daniel, when Daniel tried to move in with a back air, he was ready for it. Yeah, he didn't get the, the full punish though, uh, which like if obviously you getting some percentage on Falcon is good, but you want to make sure you finish your food. Letting Falcon back is gonna it's gonna kill you every time. No, like uh, it's definitely a matchup where you just need to execute. Like uh, whenever Falcon's in a position where he can't really. Help himself. Yeah. Second chances are really bad in yeah. this matchup. Because yeah. that one extra touch that could yeah. be the game. Yeah, literally, you could lose all five stocks. Just, you know, you never know. Yeah. Oh, and he got the grab. Wow. wow. Very risky, but I like it. It was so um, patient. Man. Yeah, so, yeah, usually uh, Falcon will fade back expecting Pika to come at them, and Daniel just called him out. going in, yeah. Um, Daniel has a chance to finish this up with Marbles. Oh, wow. This could be it. He needs to DI for his life. And the up smash. Uh, uh, Daniel opting for a, a not true combo. Marbles still alive. And that Pika scenario, though. Great up tilt. The up tilt apparently reaches under. Yeah. And a great performance from Daniel. Let's go, Baltimore. <laughs> um, Baltimore coming out strong today. Yeah.